Okay, for math, a uh, couple of the things that we're going to go over is the long division. Some of y'all are still struggling with the long division, so I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Okay, the long division. I've taught y'all to do it one at a time. Okay, so we're going to do one of these digits at a time. Six will go into seven one time. Then you have to go back and multiply your one times six is six. You're going to subtract. Seven take away six is one. You're bringing down your eight. Okay, you have to remember to put that arrow there. Some of y'all did not remember to do that. Bring down your arrow and it's going to be 18. So six will go into 18 three times. Three times six is 18. If you don't remember what number to put up here, I taught y'all to write it on the side, for example, on that one. Make sure you write something like this. Six times one, six times two, six times three, and so on. And do your multiples of six until you remember what number will go into it. But we've already figured it out. Six times three is 18. Okay, now you're gonna bring down the next number, four. Now, six will go into four zero times. So you're gonna put the zero right on top of the four. Six times zero is zero. You're gonna subtract. Gonna bring down your eight. That's the last number. Six will go into 48 eight times. And remember, like I said, do all your multiples if you need to on the side. So six will go into 48 eight times. Six times eight is 48. Okay, and that is your final answer. There is no remainder on this problem. So in order to check it, to make sure it is correct, some of y'all still are not sure how to check it. It's 1308 or 1308 multiplied times six. And then you just follow through the way I've taught y'all. Six times eight, 48. Carry your four, six times zero is zero. Bring down your four, six times three is 18. Carry your one, and then the last one is seven. So it's 7,848, you have the same answer here as you do up here, so it is correct, okay?